What is going on guys, it's Halftime Productions, welcome back to the channel, first of all, hope you're having a great day, and as you see, I have this custom made 50 classic team NBA bracket, a simulation on NBA 2K22, to determine the greatest classic team in NBA history. As you see, there are so many great teams, the 17 Warriors, 08 Celtics, 01 Sixers, the 96 Bulls, 13 Heat, I mean, anybody has a chance to win today, this is all a single elimination tournament, one game to move on, upsets can happen, crazy games, I mean, I'm so excited for this one, and I want you guys to call Comment down below your final four predictions. Give me four teams to make it to the final four. Of course, it has to be one team from each region. So right now, study the bracket. Tell me your four teams. I'll be shouting you guys on the next simulation. And speaking on that, shout out to the last people in the last 2K simulation up on the screen. I really do appreciate your guys' support. I read every single comment. And normally, we don't do 50 team tournaments. So this is going to be a long video. Hope you guys are ready to sit back, sit down, relax. And guys, go grab your favorite snack. Tell me right now question of the day your favorite snack maybe even to watch these videos i want to know let me know down below but this is going to be insane so sit down sit back last go study the bracket it is your last chance to comment down your final four predictions i hope you get all four teams right so without further ado i'm done talking this is the 50 classy team nba tournament here on nba 2k22 we begin the first round road to the championship begins now so let's go What a matchup to begin the first round. It is the 01 Lakers against the 07 Cavaliers. We're all tied up in Cleveland. Here's LeBron on check. It's no good. Rebound O'Neal. And here come the Lakers looking to take the lead. 35 seconds remaining. And the ball is stolen. Derek Fisher, what was that? And here come the Cavaliers on the break. It's Gibson. I mean, Gibson in his prime was amazing. And now he goes to LeBron on the post. On Shaq. Pump fake. And he gets sent back. I mean, that was a good work. Shaq has been there. He's done that. And that was too easy for him. LeBron goes up and sent back by O'Neal at the rim and how about this defensive battle going on here in Cleveland and now here we go about a 10 second shot differential LeBron James one on one with Rick Fox the screen LeBron fires away connects for three Cavs go up on top by three points timeout Lakers 13.4 and their tournament runs on the line they need to tie this game or go for a quick two inbound to Fox now he goes to Kobe back to Fox pump fires and he got one for trading threes in Cleveland no timeout to the the Cavaliers, seven seconds, can LeBron do it again? Five, four, LeBron draws two, open, three, it's good! Are you serious? This is how we're kicking off the tournament. Here's Kobe at the buzzer. No good. And that's all she wrote. The 07 Cavaliers will knock off the 01 Lakers. Who would have predicted this? And you guys have to let me know. Are your brackets busted after the first game? I feel like a lot of you have the 01 Lakers in the Final Four. But as we go to Phoenix, it is the 05 Suns taking on the 91 Golden State Warriors. So Steve Nash and Mari Stoudemire get it done and they will move on. As now we will head to Milwaukee. It is the 85 Bucks and the 19 Raptors going at it. And now Milwaukee's down by one in the paint. Cummings, no good. And guys, tell me if I'm wrong, but does Cummings look like Charles Barkley? I, I mean, he literally looks like Barkley. He's the same level of everything. That's insane. The ball dead. I mean, that's that's funny. As look at Kawhi Leonard, a big man move. He puts the Toronto Raptors up three. 24 seconds for the 85 bucks. And I honestly think Moncrief has to be the guy taking the shots. 17 seconds, down three. They go to mini Charles Barkley. Stuck up. Dunley V, jab, he's on Danny Green, he's gonna take one, fires, it's no good, rebound Kawhi enough to pass to Siakam, as the Bucks will have to foul here, and Siakam will make the first, the second one on its way, and it's good, it's a five point game, so the 2019 Raptors will escape here on the road, and they will take down the 85 Bucks, 101-96 to your final, unless there's a three pointer made, no Kawhi Leonard gets a hand on it, and it's over, Toronto fans, one of your two teams is still in it, and here we have the other Toronto team, it's the 2000 Raptors who will go down to get this the 1777 oh no oh my god did i really just say that 1977 76 years I Listen, I don't even know what I just said right there, but we will just forget that I said the 1777 76ers, but here we go. The 94 Houston Rockets will take down the 2000 Trail Blazers, so Akeem Olajuwon will be moving on, and here we go to Indiana. The 95 Orlando Magic against the 2014 Pacers, and we're going at it as here's a steal, and here come the Orlando Magic with 30 seconds up by one point. They are looking for the dagger. Here's Shaquille O'Neal and Roy Hibbert, and Roy Hibbert back in the day was actually pretty good, so let's see if he can get a stop right now. As here's Shaw for Orlando, and Indiana still has a timeout so if they get a stop they can call it as Byron Scott the dagger no it's rebounded and the Pacers have a timeout they won't use it and here they push up the court Hill gives it to Paul George can Paul George give him a gamer the fans are on their feet in Indiana four seconds three the screen from Skula pull up 
puts it in. Paul George, are you serious? A big time shot, no time left. It's all over. The 2014 Pacers win this game. I mean, I didn't think they were going to win. And now we have the 1990 Cavaliers over the 1971 LA Lakers, 112 to 94. And the Cleveland Cavaliers, two games they played the Lakers in the first round, and they beat them both times as Cleveland will get the job done. They'll move on. As the 98 Jazz are looking to win on the road in Golden State, the 07 Warriors down by one. They need to stop, and they got it, but they can't get the rebound as here. Here comes Hornacek, looking to make it a four or even three point game. He gives it off. Russell, shot clock down to five seconds. Hornacek, 101 on Ellis, pull up. No good, rebound Ellis, and here come the Warriors. A chance to steal this game. Can they connect? Now it's in Baron Davis's hands. He's been here before. As we're down on a six seconds, the screen, five. Oh, look at Davis has a lane. Lefty layup, he puts it in. One point game with two seconds. The Jazz tournament on the line at the buzzer. Air ball on the Warriors. We believe Golden State moves on the next round. Baron Davis, the game winner. And now we will go to New Jersey. It is the 0-2 Nets who will beat the 0-3 Suns, 122-9-2. So New Jersey with Jason K gets it done. And it's the 0-7 Washington Wizards with Gilbert Arenas who will follow the 0-4 Detroit Pistons, that championship team. And I feel like that could be a scary matchup for any team. You don't want to play this 2004 Pistons team. And so the 0-4 Pistons move on, but the 89 Pistons with Isaiah Thomas will follow the 0-8 Houston Rockets, 104-9. 96 and the Rockets will win on the road. And now we are in Seattle. It is the 96 Sonics against the 2010 Blazers and Rudy Fernandez. A three pointer. Oh my goodness, fading away. He gives the 010 Blazers or the 2010 Blazers the one point lead. And Gary Payton loses it. Here come the Trail Blazers. They got all the momentum up by one. 30 seconds. They were just down by two. Andre Miller in the paint. A solid point guard. He goes in and stolen. Sean Kemp on the steal. And the Sonics have a chance to take the lead. Each team at a time. Out. These fans in Seattle are on their feet. Gary Payne just lost it a moment ago, but can he get redemption? 14 in the game clock. Gary Payne around the screen. Gary Payne the spin. Gets in the paint, goes up, and it's no good. Tip, fight for the ball, and it's rebounded by Ratum. And now they have to foul twice again the bonus, and it's Andre Miller at the line. The vet point guard makes the first. This one to make it a three point game with five seconds, and he's got it. The Sonics are getting a miracle to force overtime. Who will they go to? It's inbound to Payne with three, two. Payne gives it. Up at the buzzer, Perkins almost goes in with the 2010 Blazers. Hold on, and there will be the 96 Sonics by three to move on. And the 2013 Memphis Grizzlies and 01 76 are going at it. Let's look at the free throw was missed by Philadelphia. They can only make it a two point game here at the line with 12 seconds. And Hill, he's got the second two point game season on the line for this 2013 Grizzlies team. Here goes Mike Conley, 10 seconds out of timeout. He wants to get Zach Ryan off in a pick and roll. He can't, but is he going to go to him? Yes, he does. Ran off in the paint, scores, and he ties the game with three seconds. This one isn't over yet. Here's Iverson, full court. Almost goes in, but we're going to overtime. Zach Grinnell from Mike Conley, and this game isn't finished. And as we get to overtime, the 2013 Grizzlies will hold on, and they will beat the 2001 76ers, 119-115 to final. Memphis is moving on. As the 2011 Chicago Bulls will beat the 86 Atlanta Hawks, 106-92. So prime Derrick Rhodes, Joe Keaton, Noah Boozer, they get it done, and they will move past Dominique Wilkins. And now it's the 08 Denver Nuggets with Carmelo Anthony, who will knock off the 9-3 Charlotte Orange, 118. To 9 2 here in Denver, it all goes Denver to the next round. And now we got the 04 Minnesota Timberwolves down by two. The 94 Denver Nuggets. Here's Kevin Garnett trying to tie this game. Gets good position and he throws up and in. A big time shot from Kevin Garnett. And we are all tied in Minnesota. 38 seconds remaining. Denver out of timeouts. Here they come. These fans in Minnesota are on their feet. They want to see their team move to the next round. Pump big on the three. Williams won't take it. He draws the double team. Has to give it up. Stiff. I think that's his name. He's going to the basket. It's no good. Rebound Garnett in timeout. And now all of a sudden, the Minnesota Timberwolves have a chance to win this game. And you got to figure they're going back to KG, a former MVP in the league. He gets in the foul line, and he sticks it. Pulling the follow through. That's too easy. No timeouts for Denver. Four seconds. Abdul Raif, two for the win. 
front rim in the 2004 Minnesota Timberwolves comeback and they will win this game as now we got a four point game in Milwaukee it is the 1971 Bucks who look to finish out this game against the 95 Knicks and they will do so 114 to 110 your final 71 Bucks move and on the last game in this first round is the OKC Thunder of 2012 being the 2006 Miami Heat 136 to 105 a blowout so OKC gets the job done and they will move on the next round we enter the second round 32 teams remaining the teams that did not play in the first round are now playing this round like the 17 Warriors the 96 Bulls so 32 teams left who's gonna make it to the Sweet 16 in today's simulation hopefully your final four predictions are still intact because without further ado we're gonna continue the simulation here on NBA 2K22 so let's go We begin this second round where it's a three-point game. The 86 Celtics are down by three to the 2010 Chicago Bulls. And Chicago has the ball looking for the dagger. Derrick Rose draws the double. Yes, they give it up to Watson. Watson with 10 on the shot clock. 30 seconds remain. He gets it on the screen. He has nothing. Good defense from Boston. McHale sends out a bound. Still the Bulls ball. 25 seconds. Four on the shot clock. And the Boston Celtics need to stop desperately as Boozer goes to Rose. Rose pump. Rose the dagger. No good, rebound Larry Bird, and the Celtics who go for a quick two, and they go for a three for the tie. Let's see what they decide to do, which Larry Bird finds a cutting edge, up and one. The Bulls made a big mistake by fouling, and it's Danny Ainge who will go to the line and a chance to tie the game, and one for the Celtics. But there is still time left in this game. He needs to make the free throw, and he does. Can the Celtics force overtime, 12 seconds. Chicago looking to go this week 16. Will the Celtics get the ball into Derrick Rose's hands? Here's Rose, driving, double comes has to give it up to Thomas, now to Brewer, 4, 3, working on age, pump, takes it, no good, we're at to overtime, end of regulation, and the 86 Celtics came back from 3 points to send to overtime, as now Boston holds a 1 point lead in OT, the Derrick Rose spin move has to give it to Brewer, Brewer, can't find anything in this simulation, 27 seconds, but a 6 second shot differential, Chicago won't bow, they're going to play the risk here by getting a stop and going for the score and the win. Can they have enough time or will they have enough time? As here is Danny Ainge. He's the guy who sent to overtime. He's on Bruiser. He has the mismatch. Danny Ainge, nothing there. Six in the shot clock. Bulls need to stop desperately. Ainge at the three point line. He gives it to Johnson. The dagger. No. Ball in the air. Rebound Bruiser. Four seconds. Bulls push the ball up the floor. Here's Gibson for the win. And it now did almost gone down. And the 86 Celtics will hold on in overtime to beat the 2010 Bulls to move on. And now we got the 0-2 Sacramento Kings first time in the tournament. And they will go down in the 2019 Toronto Raptors. So the Raptors are playing so good right now. And they will beat the Kings to move on the Sweet 16. As now it is the 2014 Clippers CP3 to Blake Griffin. Oh my goodness, that is nostalgic. He gets the slam dunk. 111-102, the 2010 Trailblazers will go down. And for some reason, 2K doesn't have Brandon Moore on this team, which I I can't believe but anyways we are now to LA it's a two-point game the 87 sellers are going against the 71 books as they tie the game with Magic Johnson jamming it home for three seconds I mean what a second round matchup this is two great teams going at it as now we've got 39 seconds after this game Robertson gives it up nothing there for the Bucks. oh he doesn't take the three I thought he had a shot as Robertson the drive Robertson blocked out of bounds and the Bucks will get it back 11 on the shot clock and they will inbound from the side which I can't believe I thought that was an inbound from the baseline but hey 2K, they gave the Lakers the edge right there as Robertson gives up the damage. Now he gives it back. And now just two seconds in the shot clock from the foul line. It's no good. Rebound. Timeout LA. And they have a chance to knock off the 1971 Milwaukee Bucks with 18 seconds. And I think everyone knows where this ball is going. It's got to go to Magic Johnson. He's in the post. Will it go to him? Yes, they do. Johnson draws two. Cooper for three. Bang. Rattles it in. Lakers on top for one second. Here's Robertson. No good, and the 87 Lakers will beat the 71 Bucks by three points, and they will go in the Sweet 16. As now the 2014 San Antonio Spurs will beat the 1990 Cavaliers 101 to 114. And the Spurs team is going to be a tough one to be in today's tournament as they get the job done to move on. And now we had to go and see the 2012 Thunder versus the 17 Warriors, two teams that could potentially win the championship are going at it in the second round. Curry to Thompson, deep three, puts it in. Nothing but net, one point game, 36 seconds. For 30 seconds, my bad. We're looking at the 2012 Thunder. They need something to give them the lead again. Can they do it? It's James Harden on Clay Thompson. Two of the greatest teams ever going at it. He goes in the paint. 
Westbrook on Curry. Westbrook fadeaway. What is that? Oh, let me shut up. Russell Westbrook, the big time shot. to give the OKC Thunder the lead. And I know so many people out there have the 2017 Warriors win the whole entire tournament as they trail by one with 10 seconds. Can OKC knock them off right here, right now? Curry takes it back out on Westbrook. Six seconds. Here we go. The screen. Curry driving. Pull up. It's no good, and the 2012 Thunder go on to Golden State, and they will knock off the 17 Golden State Warriors, and that's unbelievable. I know your brackets are busted as the 1998 Chicago Bulls will go down the 2013 Grizzlies. How about this? The Grizzlies on a run as they move on, and it is the 2013 Miami Heat over the 04 Timberwolves, 111-90. We saw Kevin Garnett win the game in the first round, but they go to the second round. They will lose this one, and we are now in Denver. It's the 2014 Pacers against the 08 Denver. Nuggets as the ball is stolen. Here come the Pacers on the break. A chance to extend their lead in the paint. George and it rolls around and in. It's a three point game with 36 seconds. Here comes Denver. No timeouts down by three. Let's see if they decide to go for the pitch with the three. Iverson might have got fouled and he misses the layup rebound. And the Nuggets will foul. They're playing some tight defense. They still won't foul. So they're going to need to stop right now. I mean, this strategy rarely works, but let's see what happens. I mean, you never know in these tournament simulations as Paul. George has the ball, shot clock down to 8 seconds, about a 5 second soft differential game clock and shot clock, George around the street from West, here we go, George on Anthony, pump, now he goes up with the left hand, it's no good, rebound can be, up to Iverson, to Santa OT, and it's off the mark, the 2014 Pacers will knock off the 2008 Denver Nuggets in this one, and the Pacers move on, as now we will go to Golden State, it is the 2008 Boston Suns over the 2007 Golden State Warriors, so Golden State wins the first round, but they will go to the second one and lose that, as now we will enter Cleveland, it is the 2007 Cavaliers at the line, Spurs down against the Dagger, they will beat the 05 Spurs, so down goes the San Antonio Spurs team in the simulation. They still have the 2014 Spurs, but the 07 Cavaliers, they're on a roll. They beat the 01 Lakers, and now the 05 Spurs to move on. As now we enter the Garden. It is the 2012 New York Knicks over the 04 Detroit Pistons. How about this? They will win by seven points, and they will move on the Sweet 16. And now we will go to Houston. It is the 08 Rockets against the 2011 Dallas Mavericks. Houston down by two after the timeout. Three seconds. Will they tie the game? Ming, spin, in the paint with the left. It goes in, but did it count? We're going to have to go to the review here. These fans are on their feet. And if this counts, we're going to go to overtime. Here we go. Let's check this out right now. I mean, I think he got off, but you never know. 1.6 going down. Here's a spin from Ming. I mean, look at the move right now. And it looks like, oh, he got it. But now it's time to go to the refs. And they will count it. We're going to overtime. Yao Ming ties the game. And this one isn't over yet. Justin Houston. We will continue here in Phoenix. It is the 2016 Cavaliers who will end up being the 05 Suns in the second round, 118 to 98, as they get the job done. And they will go to the Sweet 16. And here we go, New Jersey, the 1994 Rockets against the 02 Brooklyn Nets. Or New Jersey Nets, yes, the New Jersey Nets. If you were too young, remember, this was the New Jersey Nets at the time. As series the basket, Elijah one against the Rockets, a one point lead, 31 seconds. Here comes Jason Kidd. What does he have in store? One of the most underrated point guards in NBA history. Nothing in the paint. Has to go up to Jefferson, and now it's Kittles. He's a spot up shooter. Now he gives it back to Jason Kidd. Tennis shot clock kid at the foul line going up. Right hand lamp is good. He scores Rockets down by one 16 seconds. Season on the line. No timeouts. Here is Cassell. If the New Jersey Nets can win this game, I mean, it would be an upset, but they need to stop. Seven seconds remaining. Cassell gets the screen. Jason Kidd can't, can't get over it. Now it goes to Elijah one. Backing down. Draws two. Still takes it. And he puts it in. He wins the game for the Rockets. And the 1994 Houston Rockets win the buzzer. Akeem Elijah one. Are you serious? What a shot. What a game. And down go the 2002 Nets. The Sweet 16 is here. There are so many great matchups this round. Which eight teams will move on to the Elite Eight? I mean, this has been so intense at this point. I can't wait to see what unfolds the rest of the video. So, guys, as always, go grab another snack. You know what? Just go grab another snack, sit down, relax, and let's continue on. Here we go. 
And so we begin this week 16 in Boston where the 86 Celtics will go down the 2016 Cleveland Cavaliers 111 to 105. Kyrie Irving and LeBron James beat Larry Bird of Boston to move on today. And here we go entering Los Angeles. Chris Boss at the line for the 13 heat. Can he give them the lead? Yes, he does. And the 14 LA Clippers are down by one with 26 seconds. Who will they go to? CP3, Blake Griffin. Here we go, guys. This is a fun matchup we got going on right now in the Painter Griffin. Griffin draws two. Back up to CP3. Shot clock at 12, no timeout, Matt Barnes, he has at the three-point line, the screen, Barnes goes up and he scores, LeBron James trying setting up charge, it didn't work, and timeout Miami down by one, and their tournament is on the line, you gotta go LeBron or D-Wade right now, here's Chalmers with six seconds, Chalmers, you gotta give up Mario, Mario what are you doing, now it's LeBron, back to Battier for the win! Battier can't make it, and the 2014 Clippers will end up being the 2013 Miami Heat, and they will move on today, as now we are entering LA. The 2013 Grizzlies run is over. The 87 Lakers will beat them 130 to 123. Is that JJ Redick on the Lakers? What, 2K, what even is that? As here we go, we enter Boston. 2008 Celtics against the 2012 Knicks, and Anthony scores. Carmelo Anthony, he's seen this team before in real life, and now he'll see him on the simulation as he gives the Knicks a two point lead. 37 seconds. Here's the captain, the truth. Paul Pierce around the screen. Pierce going up, and he had it deflected maybe by Anthony, and the Knicks will have it up by two points. Oh my goodness. Each team still with a timeout, but a shot here from the Knicks will be the dagger as he draws two in the painted Novak. Novak on Garnett, he doesn't want any of that. And now he goes to Schumpert. Schumpert gets in the paint. Sent back by Kevin Garnett. Timeout Boston. And it's chance to tie the game or take the lead. 15 seconds remain. Here we go. Paul Pierce, he missed the layup last time. Can he get vengeance? Yes, he does. Ties the game from the free throw line. Six to Jumper. Timeout New York. And 8.9 seconds away from overtime. Or can the New York Knicks steal the game in Boston? Here's Carmelo Anthony on Paul Pierce. The screen. Anthony isolated against Paul. And he knocks down the jumper, oh my goodness, ripping the heart out of South fans. And here's Rondo up the buzzer, it's no good. And the 2012 New York Knicks will go into Boston and beat the OH Celtics. And here we go, the 9-6 Bulls over the 2014 Pacers. And I mean, what a run from Indiana, but it will ultimately end up going down here in the Sweet 16 as the 9-6 Bulls will move on. And here we go, in Houston is the 08 Rockets over the 07 Cavaliers. And Houston is now moving on the lead eight with a big time win over Cleveland in the 07. Seven Cavaliers season comes to an end, and now we go to OKC. It is the 2012 Thunder over the 94 Houston Rockets. I mean, what a game! 150 to 110, a complete offensive show from both teams. And anyways, here we go. The 2014 Spurs, 2019 Raptors. Tony Parker flips it up and in, and he gives San Antonio a two-point lead. Here comes Toronto, 22 seconds, down by two. And look at this, we got Claw against Claw. Kawhi Leonard going right at Kawhi Leonard. Can he tie the game? I mean, as which. Kawhi Leonard versus better. Here's Toronto Kawhi, the pump big. He's going to buy the San Antonio Spurs Kawhi. And Marcus Saul can't make the bunny. And the Spurs have to foul with six seconds. They need to know where to miss a free throw. He's at the line. First one sinks it. And this could be the dagger. They send the 2019 Toronto Raptors home. And he's got it. It's a four point game with six seconds. Toronto needs a quick three. Here's Lowry. Four seconds, three. Time's going to run out. Lowry needs to get it off. He does. It does doesn't matter, it's over the 2014 San Antonio Spurs, they'll win and they'll move on. We now move the Elite Eight, a battle of these eight teams to move to the Final Four. You guys see the matchups, so many good ones in this round. It's been a crazy simulation up to this point. I feel like it's only going to get crazier. So guys, let's move on to the Elite Eight. Which teams are going to go to the Final Four? Let's find out. And the 2012 New York Knicks are headed to the Final Four. They will beat the 2012 OKC Thunder 125 to 120. And OKC doesn't win here, and they will go home today. And here are the 2008 Houston Rockets against the 87 Lakers. It's a two-point game. McGrady ties it with a wild shot. 102, 102, and that brings the Houston fans to their feet. And here come the 1987 Lakers, the Showtime Lakers. Magic and Kareem, can they get the lead? And here is Cooper, who won the game in the second round. He gives him the. Pain. It's Johnson, draws two, back up to Cooper, can he do it again? 
this time it's no good. Houston has the rebound and a chance to take the lead. All of a sudden they were down two and now they can stun the 87 Lakers as this Landry in the paint to McGrady the three. Puts it in from downtown. It's a three point game and the 87 Lakers on a timeout. Here comes Cooper. Can he tie the game? It's got to be Cooper, James Worthy or Johnson. Cooper in the paint. Johnson backing down, draws two. Cooper gives up. They swing it around the corner. Five seconds, four. The Lakers are going to take one. Worthy, Cooper, three. No good. And the away Rockets are going to foul four. Who predicted that? That's down by the Lakers. And now we'll go to San Antonio. The 2014 Spurs will take down the 2016 Cavaliers in a blowout 140 to 109. That's down goes Cleveland. And the Spurs are moving on. Hey guys, I accidentally simulated too fast, but the 1996 Chicago Bulls will beat the 2014 Clippers, even though CP3 had a 40 piece, 8 and 9 as well. What a game for Chris Paul and Michael Jordan at 34, 4 and 4 as the 96 Bulls will move to the Final Four in today's simulation. Four teams remaining and we enter the Final Four. Again, let me know down below how many Final Four teams did you get right. There's no chance anybody got all four, but I'm interested to see your guys' predictions. We have the 2012 New York Knicks, the 96 Bulls, the 08 Houston Rockets, and the 2014 Spurs. Which two teams will move to the championship in today's simulation? Here we go. Winner of this game goes to Final Four. We're tied as Jordan. Oh my goodness! A ball from deep. He gives the Bulls a three point lead over the 2014 Spurs. And now the Spurs find themselves down by three in the Final Four game. They need a quick basket. They gotta go two for one. Here's Parker, the crossover. Parker gets in the paint. His lamp's no good. Rebound. And the lamp also no good. Bulls hang on to a three point lead, 26 seconds. And the Spurs won't foul. They have no timeouts. But the 9 6 Bulls can get the dagger and go to the championship game. Did any Anybody predict the 2014 Spurs and 96 Bulls to get here? Let me know down below because one of these teams is going to be moving on down to seven on the shot clock. Here's Harper around the screen. You're going to go back to MJ. They set some screens. It's Pippen, the dagger. Bang! Six point game. Spurs down by six. Five seconds. This one looks to be over. Starting Pippen and Michael Jordan going crazy. Letter at the buzzer. It's no good. And the 96 Bulls are going to the championship game. And you are lying if you said you had the 2012 New York Knicks going to the championship because in today's simulation they will do it. They knock off the away Rockets here in the Final Four game as the Knicks will win and move on. Well guys, after 50 teams, we're now down to two. The 2012 New York Knicks against the 1996 Chicago Bulls Anthony vs. Jordan. One game to determine the winner of this crazy NBA tournament. It's been insane to this point, so without further ado, it's the last game, the championship game. Who's going to play the hardest to win it? So guys, sit down, sit back with lads, and let's find out who's going to take on the rings. And we go to the championship game in New York. The Knicks are down one and Barry Davis throws her way. Here come the 96 Bulls that break up by 144 seconds. MJ gives it to Pippen. Pippen back to Robin. And it's off the dome of Carmelo Anthony. It's a turnover as here come the Knicks on the break. Anthony, they give it to Shumper. He puts in the three. Knicks on top by two. Yvonne Shumper, who would have predicted him to hit the biggest shot of the simulation so far. As here comes Michael Jordan and the Bulls down by two. He's working on a young Shumper. Now he goes to Pippen, to Rodman, and back to Pippen, guarded by Anthony, in the paint, pump fake, he got him in the air, and Jordan ties the game with 17 seconds, timeout New York Knicks, and a chance to win the championship game, can they do it, as the shot clock is turned off, 14 seconds, here comes the double on Anthony, the Bulls don't want Anthony to beat them, as here is Davis around the screen, Davis, oh what a move, crossover, Davis, floater, he got him, what a move from Davis. Two moves right there to get the Knicks to lead. Four seconds. Jordan, no timeouts. Here's the championship on the line. Three-pointer. Front ring. And the 2012 Knicks win the tournament and the simulation. Who would have predicted this? As down go the 9-6 Bulls. What a championship game. Carmelo Anthony gets his ring. And I mean, it was the other guys who stepped up in this championship game. Iman Shumper and then Baron Davis. But guys, what a tournament. So many fun games. Crazy moments. Upsets. Carmelo Anthony celebrating with the fans. And I guess 2K won't let us see the championship celebration in New York. But anyways guys, this was a long video. If you watch all the video or most of it, I definitely appreciate that. It was a fun one to say the least. So guys, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the next win today's simulation. It's Top Down Productions. And again, thanks for watching. We out.